All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching Kermit Can't Communicate Season 2, Episode 9. Uh, last episode was really good. Uh, I kind of enjoyed that. The, obviously, they're on their trip, their school trip. Um, part of the episode was kind of the sightseeing side of it. Uh, they were stressing out the kind of tall um, guy person. Tadano and Komi were the only ones kind of just taking in the, the scenery, just kind of looking at all the kind of architecture and old buildings and stuff like that. Um, it was like it was like a nice little date. I like that. Um, then kind of the second half of the episode was uh, the the somewhat fan servicey side of the episode, but uh, nothing to complain about to be honest. Uh, the obviously the the, the the girl scene, which was just five minutes of just yeah, um, still funny though. Uh, but then the guy scene, I fucking love the guy scene. So funny. Uh, yeah, which is really good. Just flexing, just boys, just. Well, bros, yeah, bros being bros. Uh, I love that little group so far. Um, that is saying Komatani, I believe. Uh, I, they're, they're a cool little addition to the group uh, with Makoto there as well, getting some screen time, which was great. Um, and yeah, just very, very awesome, kind of social, fun, friendly times. And I'm looking forward to seeing more of it this episode, hopefully. So, as always, guys, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and like the video as well. And let's go into this episode right now. Ooh, we've got a free day. We can do what we want. Nice. Oh, so we're actually going to get get to know the uh, the other new people in the groups this episode then. <laughs> the socially socially awkward group. Yo, communication sixty nine. Let's go. <laughs> Just nothing got said. Oh. <laughs> are, you, are you okay with that, Kami san she didn't think they would ask for her approval. <laughs> no, you are a member of the group, Kami. Shogi? Okay. You just laze around. <laughs> True. Yeah. Most of, most days, Kami just rolls out of bed. Whoa. Oh, Spider-Man, yeah. Harry Duke's Honey Potter Shop. Oh my god. <laughs> Takoyaki. Bro, she she sticks to the schedule hard. It's wild on a school trip, they still have to wear their school uniform. Is this a normal thing? I suppose it's like easier to find them and stuff, I guess. But still. Yeah, she's crying. <laughs> Bro, I need a friend like this. Someone just really good at prepping days out. No, yeah. bro. She's so timid that the deer is like scared. <laughs> what if it just bites her? Ah, that's so cute. They made it. Nice. Why do you make such a tight schedule? So you could do loads of things in a day. Well, don't be mean about it. What the hell? She made a tight schedule because, yeah, you could do way more things by doing this. And now you're both getting bitter about it. Stop. Kermi needs to, like, deflate the situation. If she can. She tried to say something. <laughs> oh, you did your best, Kermi. Aw. Good job, Kermi. Yeah. Nice one, Kermi. Yeah. Well, that's fine. I prefer, like, something like this. Maybe, like, take one thing off the schedule so you can be a little bit more chill in places. To, like, go into somewhere like this and having nothing to do. Oh, look at Komi running. Cute. Damn, they got her all dressed up. <laughs> it was worth coming. <laughs> Ninja, okay. Is this is this just like an act or something? She probably thinks she's actually being kidnapped though. Oh god, she's got the wrong end of the stick. <laughs> oh god, what is it? What the? Is it a yo yo? Oh yeah, she's sick with yo-yos? Nice. I <laughs> like the, all the English in the background. <laughs> I 
I mean, you're wearing the school uniform. That was clearly you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're gonna roll with that, are you? <laughs> Just staring at like I see through your bullshit. <laughs> Yeah, sure. Checkmate in nine moves. Oh! <laughs> Bishop to 42. Bro, she is exposing her. <laughs> oh, bro, you're losing this bad. They're fighting? No, she's just trying to expose her. Really? Still? Is there actually no professional female shogi players? That's crazy. Oh, she's still lying? Okay. I mean, the yo-yos are in her pockets, aren't they? I would like to thank Hanya-san for rescuing me. Even if it was part of the movie village. So sure, I'm happy that she saved me. Aww. Is she embarrassed or something? <laughs> you were so serious about it too. Yo-yos these days are pathetic. What? That's Beyblade. You know what? Beyblade is fire, so I would rather do that than a yo-yo. She walking out of her yo-yos, yeah? <laughs> why, why, Hanya? <laughs> Wait, what? Love stories? Oh, God. Okay, so these love stories are going fucking well then. Cut that gun. His sharp gaze. Oh. It sure is, Tadano. Yeah, oh, I'm glad they, they recognize this already. Doesn't does that? Bro, she's like telepathically speaking him. Yeah. All these hints to, to Tadano, Gummy. Yeah, <laughs> she realizes. H. Letter H. What? No! The sword! No! Oh, they sent it to her. Lol. Oh, I was hoping to see more of the boys this, uh, in the on their field trip. It's like she's perfect. Well, yeah. You say that, but look at how she sleeps. It's so elegant. <laughs> what is she gonna do? Look at Mago though, he's got such a small face. Oh, what, is she gonna sit next to, the, to Mago though? <laughs> he's like vibrating. <laughs> what is this menacing aura? Oh my god. She's gonna wake up. See Tadano and be so embarrassed. Oh. 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 Oh, it's so cute. Holy fuck. She's going to freak out when she wakes up. Tadano is like internally screaming. Look at him. <laughs> He's freaking the fuck out. Forgive me. No, Komi, you have blessed him. Yeah. Yeah, she did. <laughs> that should be so annoying. The first night you were taking photos of half-naked men. What was that? Oh. <laughs> no, come on. Show it. Show it. Show the boys. You betrayed me. You betrayed me. <laughs> Only 79 left. She's made 21 friends. That's awesome. All right. So that was Komi season two, episode nine. Uh, it's really nice getting to know the two other girls here. Obviously, we didn't see much of uh, Tadano and Najimi this episode. I really wanted to see more kind of the boys' time, but I guess we'll see more of that in the future. I just want to see it more on the kind of trip. Um, but this story is mainly about Komi, so yeah. Uh, yeah, really sweet little ending there of Komi sleeping on Tadano's shoulder. Tadano, like, the with the best poker face ever while he's eternally fucking freaking out. Um... And yeah, with Komi as well, just 
very cute as always. Ugh, every every time they do something kind of relationshipy together, it's just so cute, man. Uh, but yeah, overall a very good episode, and I'm definitely looking forward to the next. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I certainly did, and I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your day, and peace out.